Hey, how's it going? I hope you're having a good week. Um, today I want to talk to you about strumming. Um, and so, what is strumming? Strumming on the ukulele or the guitar is just, um, you know, it's a certain kind of picking motion for chords in particular. And so, often, you know, that includes both something called the downstroke, which is just, you know, as the name implies, it's just running your pick down all the strings or some of the strings, and then an upstroke, which is the opposite. So bring your pick up. Um, all you know, all really cool strumming patterns are a combination of down downstrokes and upstrokes. So um, for now, we're gonna start simple though. So for now, I want you to just start with uh, just downstrokes. So I'm gonna start with something real easy. These are just gonna be all quarter notes. So counting in fours, we're gonna go. So, you know, grab any chord you want, and then go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And so that's probably very easy for you. Um, now let's uh, let's add in the upstrokes. And so upstrokes are going to go in between all of the the downstrokes, and so it's going to look like this. Something really important I want to mention is, you know, with all of the downstrokes, it was just, you know, I was counting one, two, three, four. And when you throw in the upstrokes, you have to start saying one and two and three and four and. These are called upbeats, just like our upstrokes, because they're kind of the in between beats. So, anyway, with the upstrokes, it's going to be one and two and three and four and. Or you can say, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So let's try that one more time. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One and two and three and four and. Cool. So I'm going to start getting a little trickier here. So most strumming patterns is kind of just, you know, that, what we just played, but you take away some of the strums. So like if I took away, um, let's say the th you know the strum on the third beat. So instead of going one and two and three and four and I'm gonna take away three. So it's gonna go one and two and nothing on three and four and. So like this. And continuously. Just to kind of make a point, you know, if I took away uh, another note, so let's say um, the fourth one, so it's gonna go one and two and nothing on three and nothing on four and so. Um, you can start to see like, you know, it starts to sound a little more complicated and, and pretty cool and like, you know, you would hear other people doing these kinds of strums, but I'm thinking of them like I'm just taking things away. Um, and one way to kind of put that into your hands, into action, is um, your right hand is constantly moving. And so on the beats that you're kind of taking away, you just, you pull your hand away, but you're still doing that stroke. So like in, in slow motion, if I were to do, um, you know, that, the first one I was talking about where I'm just taking away the third beat. One and two and Three, I'm still strumming, still moving my hand like this, but I'm not touching the strings. And then back on it. So like one and two and three and four. Because when you get faster and faster, your your hand should just be constantly moving. You know, you don't have time to to take a break and, and just stop it. And so as you get more and more complicated with this kind of stuff, as you take away more strums, um, your hands should still be moving like this all the time, and you're just you know, taking it off the strings. Um, so let's take that um, with the second pattern again. So one and two and 
skip three and skip four and really slowly. And I'll just show you that you know my hand is still still going. So um, let's pick a different four, different chord. Sure, A minor. Still going. So faster. So still going. Um, and then just one last example before before I end this. Um, let's take away the end of one. So one. This stuff can get, you know, more and more complicated. So for now, I want you to start with the basics and again, just go with all quarter notes to begin with. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And then all eighth notes. And then once you get the hang of that, um, again, you can refer to earlier in the video and start taking stuff away. But start with the basics.